Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. God of creation, you know that the violence in our country and our community is out of control. It is taking innocent ones. It is taking our children. And we confess that beyond the violence in our streets is the violence in our own hearts. We contribute to a culture of violence whenever we give in to hatred, fear, indifference, and our own self-satisfaction. It seems that we are growing numb to the suffering, the loss, the indignity done to our sisters and brothers. But in our hearts, help us to value life and the beauty of your creation instant over instant satisfaction and to value sharing over greed. Empower us to acknowledge and affirm our children, our spouses, our neighbors, and seek respectful solutions to our conflicts. The spirit you give us is strong. Therefore, each of us can do something, person by person, family by family, community by community, to realize that we are one, one body, one people on one earth. By your design, we thrive or we perish together. Holy One, give us the grace of hope. Give us the dedication to goodness and to truth as we seek to restore our country and our community to wholeness and life. Enable us in this way to take back our country from the violence and fear we find in our midst. Trusting that you desire for us, for all that you desire for us is peace and harmony. We pray this in your name. Amen. Be with me, Lord, when I am in trouble. Be with me, Lord, when I pray. Be with me, Lord, when I am in trouble. Be with me, Lord, I pray. Please rise. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the crowds, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger, and whoever believes in me will never thirst. But I told you that although you have seen me, you do not believe. Everything that the Father gives me will come to me, and I will not reject anyone who comes to me. Because I came down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. And this is the will of the one who sent me, that I should not lose anything of what he gave me, but that I should raise it on the last day. For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have eternal life and shall raise him on the last day. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please sit down. In today's Holy Hour, we're going to pray. If you don't have a booklet, uh, Velma, you want to raise your hand? Because you got them. Yeah. Okay. We'll be using the alternate prayers for individuals and for individual um, needs and desires. I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger. When we eat food, we get hungry again. When we take God's word, he fills us. What's interesting is that we haven't quite come to him yet. We're coming to him. Why do I say that? Because we keep yearning for him more and more. We are not satisfied. Yeah, occasionally we go to a retreat and, and we have a mountaintop experience and we feel like we're with him, but it's like holding air in your hands. It's, it, it quickly is gone. So we're constantly coming to God. Today we come to God in the Blessed Sacrament. Let us humbly 
open our hearts and allow him to touch us in any way that he needs to. Christ be our light, live in our hearts, live in the darkness. Christ be our light, gathered in church, gathered today. Kyrie eleison. Respond. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Page four. God, our Father in heaven, have mercy on us. Are you responsible to have mercy on us? Redeemer of the world. God, the Holy Spirit. Trinity, one God. Heart of Jesus, Son of the Eternal Father. Heart of Jesus, formed by the Holy Spirit in the womb of the Virgin Mary. Heart of Jesus, united in substance to the word of God. Heart of Jesus, of infinite majesty. Heart of Jesus, sacred temple of God. Heart of Jesus, tabernacle of the Most High. Heart of Jesus, house of God and the gate of heaven. Heart of Jesus, burning furnace of charity. Heart of Jesus, abode of justice and love. Heart of Jesus, full of goodness and love. Heart of Jesus, wellspring of all virtues. Heart of Jesus, most worthy of all praise. Heart of Jesus, king and center of all hearts. Heart of Jesus, in whom all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Heart of Jesus, in whom dwells the fullness of div divinity. Heart of Jesus, in whom the Father was well pleased. Heart of Jesus, of whose fullness we have all received. 
Heart of Jesus, desire of the everlasting hills. Heart of Jesus, patient and most merciful. Heart of Jesus, enriching all who invoke you. Heart of Jesus, fountain of life and holiness. Heart of Jesus, atonement for our sins. Heart of Jesus, overwhelmed with insult. Heart of Jesus, bruised for our offenses. Heart of Jesus, obedient unto death. Heart of Jesus, pierced with the lance. Heart of Jesus, source of all consolation. Heart of Jesus, our life and resurrection. Heart of Jesus, our peace and reconciliation. Heart of Jesus, victim of sins. Heart of Jesus, salvation of those who trust in you. Heart of Jesus, hope of those who die in you. Heart of Jesus, delight of all saints. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Graciously hear us. Jesus, meek and humble of heart. Let us pray. Loving God, the Father, grant wisdom to those who govern us, compassion and courage to those who work to defend human life and safety and care to every human being. For you alone who formed us in our mother's wombs and who call us home to heaven are God forever and ever. Amen. Let us repeat Psalm 40. God, my God, come to my aid. God, my God, come to my aid. Come to my aid. Come to my aid. In the small book, we'll, I'll be taking some prayers out of there. If you want to say them with me, that's absolutely acceptable. For medical professions, Almighty God, who blessed Son Jesus Christ, went about doing good and healing all manner of sickness and disease among the people, Continue in our hospitals and research centers his gracious work among us, especially those ministering to people affected by the novel, the no, the novel coronavirus. Console and heal the sick, grant to the researchers, physicians, nurses, and assisting staff wisdom and skill, diligence and patience. Prosper their work, O Lord, and send down your blessing upon all who serve the suffering through Jesus Christ, our Lord, amen. Mm. Almighty and immortal God, giver of life and death, we implore in your mercy to stop the spread of the novel virus, healing for all the infected by the novel virus that by your blessing upon them and upon those who minister to them with your healing gifts, they may be restored to health of body and mind according to your gracious will and may give thanks to you in your holy church through Christ our Lord, amen. O oh God, our King, by the resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, on the first day of the week, you conquered sin, put death to flight, and gave us the hope of everlasting life. Redeem all our days by this victory. Forgive us our sins, banish our fears, make us bold to praise you and to do your will, and steal us to wait for the consummation of your kingdom on the last great day, through Christ our Lord. 
Amen.
Almighty God, from whom all thoughts of truth and peace proceed, kindle, we pray, in the hearts of all people the true love of peace, and guide with your pure and peaceable wisdom those who take counsel for the nations of the earth, that in tranquility your kingdom may go forward till the earth is filled and the knowledge of your love through Christ our Lord. Amen.
We'll pray all of those four prayers. In fact, we'll pray four, five in prayers on page five and six, but we'll do it slowly for those who serve others. O oh Lord, Heavenly Father, whose blessed Son come not to be served, but to serve, we ask you to bless all who, following his steps, give themselves to the service of others, endure them with wisdom, patience, and courage, that they may be strengthened, and that they may strengthen the weak and raise up those who fall ill. Aid, being inspired by your love, may worthily minister to the suffering, the friendliness, and the needy for the sake of him who laid down his life for us and your son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> For the unemployed, Heavenly Father, we remember before you those who suffer want and anxiety from lack of work because of the coronavirus pandemic. Guide the people in this land so to use our public and private wealth that all may find suitable and fulfilling employment and receive a just reward for their labor through Christ our Lord. For those who live alone, Almighty God, whose son had nowhere to lay his head, grant that all those who live alone, especially those who are quarantined, may not be lonely in their solitude, but that following in his steps, they may find fulfillment in love, loving you and their neighbors through Christ our Lord. Amen. For the elderly, look with mercy, O God, our Father, on those whose increasing years bring them weakness, distress, or isolation, especially in quarantine. Provide them homes of dignity and peace. Give them understanding helpers and the willingness to accept help. And as their strength diminishes, increase their faith and their assurance of your love. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. for the recovery of the sick. Almighty and immortal God, giver of life and health, we implore your mercy for all who are sick, that by your blessing upon them and upon those who minister to them with your healing gifts, they may be restored to health of body and mind according to your gracious will and may give thanks to you in your holy church through Christ our Lord.
for guidance for us. O God, by whom the meek are guided in judgment and light arises up in the darkness for the godly, grant us in all our doubts and uncertainties the grace to ask what you would have us do, that the spirit of wisdom may save us from all false choices, that in your light we may see light, and in your straight path we may not stumble. Through Christ our Lord, amen. for deliverance from peril. Almighty God, our strong tower of defense in time of trouble, we offer you praise and heartfelt thanks for our deliverance from the dangers which lately surrounded us and for your gracious gift of peace. We confess that your goodness alone has preserved us and we ask you still to continue your mercies toward us that we may always know and acknowledge you as our Savior and mighty Deliverer, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us do the great litany. Now in this great litany, I will read the start on page um, one. On page two, let's alternate as you, as you are led by the Spirit and we will all respond. O God, the Father, creator of heaven and earth. O God, the Son, redeemer of the world. O God, the Holy Spirit, sanctifier of the faithful. O holy, blessed, and glorious Trinity, one God. Remember not, Lord Jesus, our offenses, nor the offenses of our forebearers, neither reward us according to our sins. Spare us, good Lord, spare your people whom you have redeemed with your most precious blood, and by your mercy preserve us forever. Spare us, good Lord. So as the Spirit leads you, please read one of the litany items and we will all respond. Good Lord, deliver us.
Good Lord, deliver us. Good Lord, deliver us. Good Lord, deliver us. Good Lord, deliver us. Good Lord, deliver us. Good Lord, deliver us. Good Lord, deliver us. Good Lord, deliver us. Good Lord, deliver us. We beseech you, Lord, to hear us, good Lord. We beseech you, Lord, hear us, good Lord. We beseech you to 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 hear us, good Lord.
We beseech you to hear us, good Lord. We beseech you to hear us, good Lord. <clears throat> we beseech you to hear us, good Lord. 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 Son of God, we beseech you to hear us. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. Grant us your peace. Crow Christ, hear us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Humbly let us voice our homage for so great a sacrament. Let all former rites surrender to the Lord's New Testament. What the senses fail to fathom, let us grasp through faith's consent. Glory, honor, adoration, let us sing with one accord. Praise be God, Almighty Father. Praise be Christ, his Son, our Lord. Praise be God, the Holy Spirit, triune Godhead, be adored. You have given them bread from heaven.
Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete. Blessed be the great mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, virgin and mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse. And blessed be God, his angels, and his saints. Holy God, we praise thy name. Holy Lord, we bow before thee. All on earth thy scepters claim. All in heaven above adore thee. Infinite thy vast domain. Everlasting is thy reign, infinite thy vast.